Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is my plant honey. Well, we'll do a quick review of this amazing bottle right here. I got the E.H. Taylor barrel proof version, not the small batch, not the single barrel, not the rye, but the barrel proof version. It's the batch 12, I believe. It's a good one. A lot of people are looking for this one every time it comes out. It's a once a year release and it's a barrel proof. So it's not a bottle and bond like all the other E.H. Taylor. So, so let's get right to it. Like all the other E.H. Taylors, it comes in a nice tube. So that's a really nice touch. And it's not like flimsy or anything. It's very well presented and uh, and I like that people like that again it's one of the four attainable sort of attainable bottles for the each Taylor line we got the regular small batch you got the rye we got the single barrel um, but this one is the harder of the four uh, it's the barrel proof version it's not bottled in bond so it's not 100 proof it comes usually around 120 to 130 ish but this one is on the higher end so 131 proof 131.1 proof, 65.55% alcohol. It'll be fun to do a side-by-side -side comparison or a blind against like a Stag Junior or something like that that has 130, 120-ish proof. Or like an Old Forester barrel strength uh, bottles, those blue bottles. And it'll be a good, fun blind. But maybe we'll save that for next time. So let's get right to it. Here you go. Let's go for the nose. For it being 131 proof, uh, it it doesn't have that much ethanol burn at the nose, which is interesting. Typical Buffalo Trace profile coming through, like vanilla, uh, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit fruity, like a, like a dark cherry note coming through. Slight oak, but I mean, not too much. Here you go, let's take a sip. Cheers, guys. That's good. It's just as I remembered. If you like H. Taylor's, if you're a fan of H. Taylor line, then this is this is right there. You'll love this. You know, think of the single barrels or, or small batch sort of amped up, you know, times five or something like that. The vanillas, the caramels, uh, like cherry, like a dark cherry notes coming through. You know, all that flavors that come to your nose, it just explodes when it hits the palate. And it's like a huge like a bombardment of flavors that hit you right from the bat. And it's pretty good. It's very good, actually. Not just pretty good. It's very good. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, though. It's not like this tastes completely new or something like toasted or finished. But nothing like that. It's Buffalo Trace stuff, E.H. Taylor stuff, just amped up. And it's good. I mean, nothing wrong with E.H. Taylor's, right? Everyone loves that juice. You know, it's very sweet and fruity. And the mouthfeel is very good, actually. It's very, uh, it's very creamy. It's very creamy and milky, if I could say that. Let's go for a second sip. That caramel, like the Warder's candy notes, is the strongest part of the flavor. The flavor just explodes in there. Though right off the bat, it, at the tongue, at the tip of the tongue, when it hits the palate, it's it explodes and it stays there for a little bit but the finish is a little, i guess sort of lacking 430 proof it doesn't stay that long actually it's, it's relatively brief considering that this is 131 proof and top of the regular line of h taylor's uh, let's try it again the caramels the warther's candy the maraschino cherry flavor is there slight cinnamon Slice them a little bready, a little bready. I, I taste a little bit of breadiness. Not much oaky at all. Again, mouth feels good, but the finish doesn't last. I guess that would be the one complaint I would have on this one. It's relatively short. The explosion of the flavors is there, but it just sort of goes away after a brief period. So that's that. You would expect a lot from this guy. This bottle is going for what, five, six hundred dollars on the secondary market or in liquor stores? Easily. If you can find it MSRP. For retail, it's probably you know hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks. You know, for four or five hundred dollars, it's a it's a tough sell. So that's my review of the E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof uh, Batch Twelve. What do I think of it? I think it's a solid bottle for sure. Now, is it worth four or five hundred bucks? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, the taste of it is, I'd say, it's very good, uh, but it's again, it's not the most complex experience that you it, it, that it provides. It's not the most mind blowing journey that it provides uh, like some of the more premium bottles it's good 
has the sweets of the buffalo trace, has the fruitiness of the buffalo trace, and it delivers it very well and very upfront, which is very attractive and very enticing. Finish, however, is a little bit lacking for, especially being 130 proof. I expected a lot more for for H. Taylor Barrel Proof to last a little longer, but it doesn't. It sort of leaves you hanging. I would recommend that you sort of try it at a bar if you get a chance. At a bar, it probably costs you you know 30, 40 dollars for a pour. And also, this comes out every year. It's not like once in a lifetime, or you know, it's as exclusive as Pappy Van Winkle wine. It's not. So if you are unable to obtain this batch 12, you know, it's, batch 13 is gonna come out, and batch 14 is gonna come out, and they're only making more and more and more every year. So uh, don't feel too a FOMO about it. It's gonna come out next year, and, and try to grab it at a reasonable price at the time. That's that's probably the prudent, most uh, reasonable advice I could give you. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think of a barrel proof. Each other. Have you had it before? What batches have you had? What's your experience? Was it different from mine? Let me know at the comment section and I'm happy to respond whenever I can. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.